Today we're going to read the second part of the story of Jumping Mouse. So remember, we talked about this a little bit last week, but now we're going to continue and get to finish up the story. So let's get started with our vocabulary words. Our first word that we have is compassion. Compassion is such an important word because it means the desire to help others when they're having a hard time. Yeah, so you might have compassion for your friends if they're having a really hard day. Compassion. Our next word is enormous. Enormous means really big. So, for example, an elephant is enormous because it's really big. Then we have this word, fragrances. You've heard it before. Fragrance means sweet or pleasant smells. So, for example, this perfume must have some beautiful fragrances. That's why people wear perfume, to smell good. And now our last word is misused. That means used incorrectly. So you would be misusing your pencil if you used it to dig in the dirt instead of to write. Alrighty, today's story is a continuation of the story of Jumping Mouse. And remember, like we said last time, it's a Native American folktale. Now remember, folktales are told orally. So they are told from telling them, not from writing them down, and they're passed down from person to person. They're also fiction, so that means they didn't really happen. Just to review, our character is whoever our story is about, our setting is where our story is, and the plot is what happens during the story. So we're going to be paying attention to these different aspects of our story as we read. So if you remember, our story is jumping about the jumping mouse. And jumping mouse lived in a brush near a sparkling river. But jumping mouse really wanted to cross that river, right? He wanted to get past the river. And he encounters a frog who gives him the ability to jump really far. He jumps all the way across the river into the desert where he meets a really fat mouse who gives him some snacks and he rests with him. And the last thing we knew, our mouse was continuing on the really long journey to a far off land. So we're going to keep reading to find out what happens to Jumping Mouse. I want you all to listen carefully to the second half of the story about Jumping Mouse to find out how Jumping Mouse helps others and what lesson can be learned from the folktale. Okay, so we're going to continue. Some time later, Jumping Mouse arrived at the grassy plain. There he found a bison lying forlornly or sadly in the grass. Hello, bison, said Jumping Mouse. I'm Jumping Mouse. Hello, Jumping Mouse. Please tell me how beautiful the sky looks today, said the bison, sadly. Have you lost your sight? asked Jumping Mouse with compassion. Remember, when you have compassion, you want to help others when they're having a hard time. Yes, I am blind now, replied the bison. I do not know what I will do now that I cannot see. I'm just an ordinary mouse, replied Jumping Mouse. But before I reached the grassy plain, a magic frog gave me a new name. The frog named me Jumping Mouse. The name gave me extra strength in my legs. I will name you Eyes of a Mouse in the hopes that your eyes will regain their strength. Jumping Mouse hopes that the bison will be able to see again. No sooner had Jumping Mouse finished speaking when the bison exclaimed, I can see! But at that very moment, Jumping Mouse realized that he could no longer see. And I cannot see, said Jumping Mouse. Why can't Jumping Mouse see? Dear Jumping Mouse, said the bison, you have given me your eyes. I am so thankful. Let me do something for you. I'm on my way to the far off land, explained Jumping Mouse, though how I will get there now, I do not know. 
Come, jump beneath my enormous hooves, and I will guide you across the grassy plain to the high mountain, said the bison gently. Enormous means really big, so he has a really big hoof. And with that, they set off. When they reached the high mountains, the bison bid farewell to Jumping Mouse. Jumping Mouse rested for a while and then began to climb the mountain. It was difficult as Jumping Mouse could not easily tell which way to go. He sniffed the air and followed the scent of pine. How might Jumping Mouse feel at this point, do you think? Jumping Mouse trod along grass and rocks, but then he trod on something that felt alarmingly like fur. Jumping Mouse sniffed the air again. Wolf, he said in a frightened voice. Do not fear me, replied the wolf, for I am a very sad wolf. I've lost my sense of smell. I do not know how I will find food without it. My dear wolf, said Jumping Mouse, it may seem strange, but I gave the bison my sight. I will call you Nose of a Mouse, and we shall see what happens. No sooner had Jumping Mouse spoken these words than the wolf sniffed the air and cried, I can smell you, Jumping Mouse, and other wonderful fragrances, or scents, or smells. Thank you. I'm so grateful. How can I repay you? I'm on my way to the far-off land. I'm brave, and I still hope that I will get there even though I can no longer see nor smell. Perhaps you can help me? I will help you, Jumping Mouse. Walk beneath my body, and I will lead you onward. Onward they went, until at last the wolf exclaimed, I can go no farther. We are on the top of the high mountain. I must bid you goodbye, my friend. And with that, the wolf retreated back down the mountainside. For the first time, Jumping Mouse felt fear. How would he ever get to the far-off land now that he could no longer see nor smell? A tiny teardrop fell to the ground. At that very moment, Jumping Mouse heard a familiar voice. Do not be fearful, said the magic frog, for it was he. You could have misused my gift, but you did not. Remember, the word misused means to be used incorrectly, so Jumping Mouse could have used all of the magic for himself but instead he shared it with others. Instead, you showed kindness and helped others on your journey. Jump high into the sky, my friend. Jumping Mouse hesitated for just a second and then he jumped high into the sky. Immediately, he felt the air lift him up into the clouds. He felt the warmth of the sun on his back. He looked down and saw the beauty of the land beneath him. Jumping Mouse said the magic frog. I am giving you a new name. It is Eagle. Fly away, my friend, and soar on to your new home in the far off land. And that is exactly what Jumping Mouse did. I hope you all enjoyed the rest of the story of the Jumping Mouse. Get ready to talk about it with Mr. Malcolm. And as usual, click on the exit ticket below.